Now inside the C apps, let me create a very simple C file. So I'm going to click on this uh, new file button. I can even click on file and then click on new file. And from here, I can uh, create a new file, right? So let me uh, just create a file by clicking on this uh, new file button and then I'm going to name my file as main.c and then press enter. Now as soon as I uh, just um, create a main.c file, you are going to see some kind of notification where Visual Studio Code is going to detect that you want to create a C a program and it's going to suggest you to install the related C or C++ extensions. If it doesn't show any uh, suggestions, you can always go to the extension tab. So just click on this extensions tab and then search for C and C++. Okay, so C forward slash C++ and once you search for C and C++, the top uh, extension here is from Microsoft. You can see, you can just select here this extension and then in your case, you are going to see the install option. I have already installed this extension. In your case, you are going to see the install button here. So you just need to click on install. So this C and C++ extension from Microsoft, which is uh, the developer for Visual Studio Code, is going to run your uh, C or C++ program. It's going to help you to uh, debug or browse your C or C++ program. And it's going to also give the IntelliSense capability in your C or C++ program. So just install this. And once you have installed uh, this, all the features of this extension will be av available on your Visual Studio Code editor. You can also see you have other extensions like C or C++ themes here. So it's going to look like this. So whatever extensions you can see are related to C or C++, I will suggest you to install all of them. They are going to help you to better run your C or C++ programs on Windows operating system in Visual Studio Code. Right now, you can see reload is required for this ex extension. So I can just click on reload and it's going to uh, reload my Visual Studio Code. So now let me just go to this Explorer section here where I have created the main.c file. I can uh, write a very simple C program here which is going to ask for two numbers and it's going to just add these two numbers and show us the result, right? This is a very simple program you can find anywhere on the internet. Now, in order to run this program, what you can do, you can either click on this terminal and open a new terminal and using GCC, you can run your a C program, which is by just using the normal terminal command, right? You can also create a build task here. So you can see there is this uh, uh, option called run build task. So I'm going to click on this run build task and it's going to uh, give me this suggestion, which build task I want to create. Here it says, gcc.exe because I have created the C uh, file and Visual Studio Code is going to recognize that this is a C file and that's why it's giving us this gcc.exe option. So I'm going to just click on this which is going to uh, start building my program. You can see starting build and uh, you can see the build is successful. So my C program has been compiled successfully and you can see main.exe file has been created once the build is complete. You can even run this GCC command in your terminal by opening a new terminal. So you can click on this plus sign and it's going to open the default command prompt. In my case, it's PowerShell. You can even open the command prompt 
from here so you can see this is the command prompt so you can either use powershell or command prompt to compile your program also right i have used this uh, inbuilt capability of visual studio code to build my program let me show you how you can build the program using the command line also so here i can write gcc.exe and then i can give the name of my main.c file so let me give the name of my uh, file and then hyphen o and then the name of my output file which will be the executable file so i can name it as uh, main2.exe file for example right main exe file is already created by this gcc build uh, option so i can create a second exe file and i can run this and you can see this main2.gcc file is created now in order to run these exe files these exe files are the output of your compilation of your c program right so when you want to run your uh, c program you just need to give this command so whatever is the name of your exe file you can give the name of your exe file for example main dot exe file right so i want to run this main dot exe file i can just uh, type main dot exe and in powershell it's going to auto complete so i can just type main dot exe here and then when i press tab is going to just uh, give dot backslash automatically to your file and then when you press enter it's going to ask me for the first number because my program is asking me to enter the first number and the second number so i'm going to enter 2 as the first number 5 as the second number and it's going to show me the sum of these two numbers this is what this program is doing right in command prompt you can just write main.exe and then press enter and once again i am going to give the first number and then the second number and it's going to give the sum of these two numbers so main.c is the file where you write your program and main.exe or main2.exe is the output of your program which you can run on the terminal using visual studio code now let's say i want to debug my program how can i do this so i can put a debugger uh, option here so this is called the breakpoint so i can go to any line and i can put the breakpoint on each and every line and when i go to debug option so when i click on debug option i will be able to see all my breakpoints here right so i can see my breakpoint on line 6 and line 9 i can even put the breakpoint on line 12 and it will be added here you can toggle all the breakpoint which means they will be disabled and once you once again toggle they will be enabled you can just remove all the breakpoint using these options so this is how you can add or toggle or remove your breakpoints in order to run your program in debug mode you can click on run and debug and once you click on run and debug you can select your debugger in our case we have installed mingw which comes with gdb debugger so you can click on c++ gdb and once you click on uh, c++ gdb you will be able to see this gcc.exe option so i'm going to click on this gcc.exe option and once I click on gcc.exe option, my program is going to uh, run and you can see the debugger has been started. And you can see uh, when the debugger starts, you will be able to see all these options here. So you can see at the top, this uh, run or continue option, step over option, then step into option and then step out option so you can see i have created my first breakpoint on line 6 so the program execution stopped on this line i can uh, now see all the variables or local variables here 
so you can see in num1 there is a, a value of 16 which is a garbage value because we haven't assigned any value uh, to it if we have assigned for example num is equal to 0 then it will show the 0 value if you don't initialize your uh, variables it's going to take some garbage value initially then i can click on step over which is going to go to this uh, code where i will be asked to provide a number i can provide a number here for example and then my program execution stop to the second uh, breakpoint which is this one i can step over i can uh, provide a second number and then press on continue and then my program execution stops at sum is equal to num1 plus num2 so i can just step over once again to the next line and you can see some uh, value is 17 which is the sum of 8 and 9 and it's going to uh, print this text when I once I click on continue here you can see the output is printed here so this is how you can use the debugger for the C program on Visual Studio code